Welcome to the Inner Voice. This is Pastor Tech of the Friends of Jesus Christ Canada. The psalmist says that my heart is steadfast in keeping your commands to the very end. Friends, uh, the only way that uh, we can keep the commands of the Lord to the very end is when we are reminded of these commands every day. See, uh, we, uh, we all say, say that the faith comes by hearing and hearing by the inner voice of the Lord. And it's so true because this reminds us of these commands and as we are reminded, friends, we keep them. And so the study of the scripture is so important. That's why we have this session. And so let's study scripture together. Come on. Our topic for today is God is keeping watch. When we are walking alone on the road, it's so good to know that uh, there is one that is keeping watch on us. Someone is watching us. It's so good to know. And especially if we know that it is God himself that is watching us. Friends, we feel so safe and secure. See, there is no fear because we know that uh, in every step of the way, uh, God is keeping watch on us. And that is the confidence even of David. That's why in, uh, in the book of Psalm, Psalm 23, he said that, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil for thou art with me. See, he did not feel anything, like there was no fear, because God was with him. So even when we are going through difficult times, friends, we know that we can overcome because God is with us. He is watching and he's making sure, friends, that we don't stumble and fall. But he will always be there to sustain us and to keep us going. Now, in uh, Proverbs 15, verse 3, we are told, The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. And so, see, the eyes of the Lord are always upon us, everywhere, keeping watch on both the wicked and the righteous, the good. So, he is also watching the wicked. For what? For what? Why, why would God even bother to watch them? Well, because there is a reward for both the wicked and the good. The good will be rewarded for the good that they do. But the wicked will be punished for the wickedness that they do. So the Lord is watching, friends. And uh, we also know that His eyes is everywhere. In 2 Chronicles 16, 9, For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. So the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth. He's, he keeps watching for those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. See, friends, the eyes of the Lord is everywhere. You know why? Because He is omnipresent God. He's everywhere. He sees everything. In fact, uh, in uh, Job 34, verse 21, we are told, His eyes are on the ways of men, he sees their every step. His eyes are in the ways of man. So he even watches our ways, the way, we, the way that we do things. See, he, he watches our steps. Because he wants us, friends, to be right before him. That's why he, he even watches our ways, whether our ways are right before him. And of course, if we make missing steps, he would be quick to come and correct us. And that's why he is watching. He is not just staring at us blankly. He is not just there to like scare us with his with his eyes upon us. No, he is watching just like uh, our parents when we were toddlers. You know, young, so young. They would watch whether we could walk properly. See, their eyes are watchful. Everything that we do, they are watching for what to make sure, friends, that we are doing the right thing. And if we are not doing the right thing, they will be quick to correct us. Say, no, 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 don't do that, don't do this, right? But if we are doing the right thing, come on, keep going. They would encourage us. Same thing with God, friends, same thing. That's why he is watching us for our good, not to harm us, 
And, and of course, we know that uh, he also was a wicked for him to punish them because they are not doing well. Uh, they are not doing good. And uh, God does not want that anyone should perish, but all should come to repentance. So he would be quick to correct them and even to discipline them because we are told, friends, that God disciplines those he loves. And so if we are being disciplined, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. This is God's way of showing his love for us. If our parents discipline us, appreciate them because that's part of their watching us. See, they are keeping watch on us. They are guarding us. And so appreciate them and thank them for the, the things that they do. Now, in, uh, in 1 Peter 3, verse 12, we are so told, For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. So his eyes are not only upon us, but even his ears are attentive to our prayers. See, while he is watching us, he is also listening to us. And yet we are told first that his face is against those who do evil. He doesn't want even to see them. How can God see wickedness? Multiply. No, he doesn't want to. Because it can cause our downfall. That's why he would come to correct us, as I've been saying, friends. And in, in uh, Psalms 33, 18, we are so told here, but the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those whose hope is in unfailing love. Wow. The eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him. So do we fear the Lord? Do we love the Lord? You see that his eyes will all be upon us to protect us, friends. And so I pray uh, that uh, we will always welcome the presence of God. Amen. When he sees us, friends, be quick to respond. And of course, we see, uh, we see God through this, through this scripture. Amen. And uh, we, you know, sometimes we cannot see God eye to eye when we are sinning because conviction would come. And that the moment that we read the scripture, it convicts us. And there are those that will just close their Bibles every time that they encounter a scripture that convicts them. Friends, the right response is ask God for forgiveness. Amen. When conviction comes, ask God for forgiveness and he will be gracious to us. And so again, friends, this is how we respond uh, to God watching over us. Let us not run away believing that we can hide from him. No. His eyes are everywhere, everywhere.